What's up everyone, this is Etalenti, how are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm gonna to try to give you uh, five tips that I've been thinking about. You know, it's already March, we're like a quarter into 2019, it's going by really fast. And I've been thinking about a lot of stuff that have to do with selling beads, with business, with everything that comes with it. So I kind of wanted to put together this like new list of tips um, that I think are going to really help you kind of like focus on, you know, the rest of the year and make it a good one. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. I'm posting videos consistently like once or twice a week. I do everything from like stuff like this to music tutorials and, and, and I post beats, you know, there's a lot of stuff. So... Hit the bell, subscribe, and thank you. If you want to hit me up directly, say hi, whatever, ask me a question. Instagram is the pl best place to do it. Um, it's the social media that I use the most by far. And if you write me a DM, I'll promise I'll respond to it. It might take me a second, but I will get to it. All right, enough talking, let's get into the video. Here we go. All right, I just got this new light, so I, I hope it's not weird. Like I'm still trying out the settings and stuff. Uh, I think it looks pretty good looking at it from here, but we'll see after I shot the video. Plus it's like super blinding, so I hope I'm not like, it's quitting the whole time. All right, whatever, let's get into the video. So the first tip of today's video is gonna be learn advertising. Start to learn like the terms that have to do with advertising. This is not specific to the music industry. It applies to everything. Learn what like a conversion campaign is, what a traffic campaign, what an engagement campaign is, what the differences are between these campaigns and what they mean and all the new terms that come with it, like funnels and audiences and lookalike audiences and all the different type of audiences, uh, conversions, the pixel, all that stuff. It's, it's a lot of stuff. Maybe one day I'll make a video a little more in depth in just advertising, try to like explain you some of the things that I learned along the way. But for right now, uh, just kind of take it as like a general advice, learn advertising. And one quick thing that I can tell you is you don't necessarily have to learn it from music producers because advertising concepts are things that apply across all the industries or most of them. Music producers are the best at making music, but they're not necessarily the best at explaining you marketing techniques. Uh, marketing videos, on the other hand, there's entire channels just about marketing in general. Those can give you a lot of useful tips that you don't usually find in music producer videos and you can try to apply them to your own business. Kind of like twist them and change them up a little bit and apply them to your thing. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is just a must have. It's like in every video and I already put it in my past videos and it's just so important. It's be consistent. Uh, be consistent without being annoying. Post on social media often, as often as you can. Post beats consistently if you're into selling beats. Make sure you post at least two a week more if possible. Like I try to post, for example, three a week. There's some weeks where I don't make it and it's not the end of the world. What this allows you to do is to kind of always be uh, on people's feeds and on pe in people's lives because people have so much information coming at them these days that they just tend to like forget about people and that's normal. I do it all the time. If I don't see a person for like a month and a half, I kind of forgot who they are. Then when they pop up again, I'm like, oh, that guy. You have to be constantly or often on people's feeds and on people's in people's lives, right? So they, re they remember who you are and you develop that kind of like deeper connection and deeper interaction with them through time. The third point could be a little bit controversial maybe. A lot of people talk about how the beat, the beat sale market is saturated, YouTube is saturated, the online platforms are saturated, BeatStars, Airbit, they're all full of beat makers, and there's a lot of good beat makers. So a lot of people complain about this and a lot of people tell them to like just get over it. So my perspective on this is that yes, it is saturated. BeatStars is saturated, YouTube is saturated, even Instagram is getting saturated. So the market is getting so saturated not only because there's a lot of people making music but there's a lot of people trying to sell it um, and this is something that blows my mind but there's a lot of people that get into this with the mentality of this is gonna be a way for me to make a quick buck off of my music and it is not it is so hard anybody you talk to that does this for a living it's insanely hard it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of dedication uh, and it takes a lot of no's it's not an easy way to make money you know if you're just trying to make a quick buck because you need it there's nothing wrong with that but I don't think music production is going to be the answer for that so with that said the market is getting saturated with people trying to sell beats sell beats sell beats sell beats so I think the way to overcome this is not so much to like complain and be like oh my god I have no chances but it's to accept it and to approach your business with that in mind. Like keep in mind that it is saturated. Just like give that for granted. If you post a video that just says buy my beats here, you know that's not gonna go through because there are a thousand other ones that just posted the same exact post in a span of like an hour. How are you possibly gonna compete with all that competition? Just keep that in mind, internalize it and accept it and make it a reality. And it's like, okay, it is saturated. So I'm gonna have to find a way to stand out from the crowd. 
and then get creative. Try to find things that put you above the rest, not necessarily in quality, um, but in everything. Like it could be something creative, it could be something unique, it could be a weird spin that you give to the content that you put out. It could be a lot of stuff, but just try to find creative ways to put yourself on a different level, not necessarily a higher level, but just a different level from the crowd. Tip number four is that traffic to your website come from outside sources. Now, this is a question that I get a lot. A lot of people ask me, where do you get all your traffic? How do you get people to your website? This again ties in with the point from before. Because there are so many people trying to do it, nobody's just gonna stumble across Ed Talenti's website or Ed Talenti's beat stars. It's almost impossible for people to literally just stumble across your profile and like just check it out. It could happen, but it's pretty rare. Um, and you can't count on that. So this is another point like the one before that I think it's really important to internalize and accept and kind of like apply to your business model. And is you have to try to drive traffic from outside sources. Um, unless you're already a celebrity online, then I mean, then sure, people are gonna come to your website no matter what. Um, but if you're not like most of us, then you need to find ways to get people on your website. For example, just like a super quick thing, by making this video, the one that I'm doing right now, uh, there are gonna be people for sure, because it, it has happened to me in the past so many times, that uh, watch the video and they're like, well, who is this guy? Why is he telling me this? Let me go check out his website. And these people might not necessarily be your customer base, because this is mostly a video for producers. So, you know, they're not artists. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because ultimately when you're driving traffic to your website, when you're driving traffic to your beat stars, um, you know, you're getting followers, you're getting plays and you're building that online personality, which is ultimately what you're trying to do so that people do come through your website because they know who you are. You, you're not part of the crowd anymore. You are Curtis King. You are Lifestyle Did It. You are whoever. You are like more like a personality rather than just like another producer. You know, I'm gonna give you another super quick example. I made a video about five months ago where I said how I made my first thousand dollars making a living online, making beats or whatever. And that video went quote unquote viral within the producer community. And now it's a, about 50,000 views. It's like the video that I have with the most views. Obviously I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of questions from that and a lot of uh, DMs and all kinds of stuff. But through that video, um, there's this guy that's actually coming here next week. I'm probably gonna try to make a vlog about that. Um, that is an American who lives in China and teaches English over there and he wants to make a hip hop album. And he found that video when he was like just scouting online for like selling beats and for producers and stuff. He stumbled across that video, he hit me up, he checked out my website and he really likes my work. So he's flying all the way here from China to work with me on an album, which I think is it's mind blowing. It's it's like insane and I'm super happy about it. So this is just a quick example to tell you that like that video, which I did not mean for artists, it was like definitely a video for producers on how to make money selling beats and stuff like that. So not for artists, got me a customer and got me a person that's flying all the way from China, which again, <clears throat> flying from China just to work with me for a few days, crazy. So yeah, to go back to the original point and kind of wrap it up, drive people to your website from outside sources, even if they're not necessarily related to you selling a beat, but it could be a lot of stuff around it, but ultimately it brings people to your website, it brings people to your beat stars, and it builds your, you know, clout, I guess. <laughs> Step number five is kind of a tip, but it's also like kind of like a, a mental exercise that I like to do, and I think it's really important. So when we talk about business, it's very different than music production, because, you know, uh, you need to care about your business but you also really care about your music production. And your music production is the expression of your creativity. It's your passion. It's like your little baby. It's like your thing that you love, that you put together. You put so much time and work into it. You just, mwah, you love it. The same thing should be happening towards the business side. Like you should love the business as much as you love the music. So with most businesses, you know, people tend to love the business, but they don't necessarily love the product. Like for example, if you're selling real estate, you know, you love the business of selling real estate. You love like making the sale and negotiating and show, showing the house or whatever you do. I don't know anything about that. But you love that side of it, but you don't necessarily love the product. Like it's not, you didn't build a house, you know? But with music production, the two things are kind of like, you love them both so much. Um, so a little exercise that I like to do is to take music out of it, just throw it out the door for a second and just focus on the business. And pretend like that business is something that I, I don't care about the product, I just care about the business. Just pretending like I sell imported goods from China, like something super boring that I don't care about at all. Um, the only thing that I care about is the business and making that thrive. So 
when you take music out of it, you're going to start taking different decisions because you're going to look at it from a different perspective, from the perspective of an entrepreneur rather than a music producer. You're going to want to apply some marketing strategies and some other things that you wouldn't necessarily apply directly to your music. But then when you put the two together, then you're really strong because now you have your music where you put all this craft and all this work and all this time and passion and love. But you also did the same thing for the business. You put love into it. You put your time. You did the exact same thing you did with the music. That becomes your baby too, as much as the music. The whole thing is, is going to be pushed up to a whole different level because just because of the passion that you put into it. All right, those are my five tips for today's video. I hope they bring value to you. I hope they make you think about some aspects of it, even if it's something small that you didn't think about yet. So yeah. I hope they spark some questions and some interesting thoughts. In fact, if you want to share those interesting thoughts in the comments, I would love to read what you think about this and I would love to start a conversation. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. I'm posting videos consistently once or twice a week. Um, I do all kinds of stuff from like stuff like what I just did now to more like music specific tutorials to more, I post beats as well. So, you know, lots of stuff. So hit the bell so you don't miss the new videos. Thank you. Also, if you want to hit me up directly, if you want to just say hi or ask me a question or whatever it is privately, hit me up on Instagram. I'll put it right here. Uh, that's the social media that I use the most. So if you write me a DM, I'll make sure to respond to it. It might take me a second, but I will get to it. All right, I guess this is it for today. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, be positive and positive things will happen.